Hello, people! Welcome to Vinny VR, and this is BAM Bulletin Mall. It's a first person shooter with loads of different game modes and a scene editor into it. Just before we go into that scene editor, though, take a look at the options there. Straight off the bat, we've got super sampling, which you can just toggle up or down as we please. And also, if you look at the locomotion, you can either touch side, slide with the controller, or actually slide with a touchpad. So we'll just keep it on teleport for now because it's the easiest one to actually edit the scene editor with. So as it says, this is your virtual toolbox for guns, bullets, but also physics if you want to do so. So let's take a look. So you do get presented with a complete empty scene ready to start. So already it looks really, really nice. Background trees and a bit of grass for the floor. So left click on your thumb pad trigger and it should come up with a nice uh, asset table. So we've got all these different things that we can spawn in, pick up, move around, push back, uh, move forward, and pull back as well. So we can place them anywhere we want. If you did want to um, place it a certain way, and you have to grab it a certain way as well. So that's it. Now placed up, I'm just not pressing fully down on the thumb pad there, I don't think. There we go. And you can place that bottle there for now. So I think these are all bottles, laptop. Also we've got some melons. You even spawn a wooden box. Oh yes, explosive barrel, that's what I'm talking about. Even got breakable glass. Whoa, breakable car. It's like a little mini car, isn't it? Let's have a look. Whoa, that ain't no mini. Um, let's get this out of the way. I think we'll have put these as tyres for this car, I think. Oh. So hopefully we'll be able to see what happens there. As you can see, other categories is like um, wooden buildings, so uh, wooden windows, wooden doors, wooden walls. Um, you see it's got a few different types as well, so you can probably make quite intricate um, sort of breach area rooms. A couple of targets there as well, which is fantastic. A few silhouetted targets, so, you know, animals rabbit fox squirrel things like that um this is quite good as well actually you've got a, a humanoid target in here so you can just pop that back like that in for the head obviously i'm just showing you this just random like you can obviously put it in place and make a really nice scene with it but for now we are just showing you off what it does have to offer. So you've got corners of rooms as well. So actual wall buildings, not wooden ones. Room with a window wall. Let's spawn that in. <laughs> That's class. Right. Um, so I pop on the floor there. There we go. I think we're actually level with the ground as well. So it does lock in with it. Just wonder if we can have some trouble with that, are we? Let's pop him back a bit further. So yeah, I'd imagine you'd be able to click all the other ones into place as well, so they'd snap a line. Um, so you wouldn't have too much trouble with things being wonky, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, just another another room. A room with stairs, actually, so that's quite cool. You obviously build higher and higher. Object spawner. Well, I think we're going to need one of them. That's for sure. So, where should we pop him? Um, let's pop him here. Okay. This is where the player will spawn, so we can just spawn the player there, and we've even got a timer. Ooh, what is that? Some 
Some crazy turret that. Whoa. <laughs> That's awesome. And he looks pretty deadly, so I don't know if I wanna put him on this side. That is crazy. <laughs> oh nice, we can even spawn a shoulder AI. Look at that. Now that is really cool. You alright mate? You alright? <laughs> See you furthest way as possible eh? Keep on going. That'll do. Oh, help me. Oh. <laughs> we'll put them there. See what else we've got in here. Oh, stags. I see even a duck. The duck in. Look at that. That looks so cool. Hey, mate. La, la, la. And a zombie. Seems spoiled for choice here. For AI. Give me a head start on this guy as well. And you can even have really huge things. Tank traps. It's a first aid if you want to obviously build a sort of shooting map where people will have to regenerize their health. Some Even some road tiles. All different sizes and pieces as well, so corners and across roads and straight ones as well. And some trees. Oh, that a rock. How cool is that? So you, can so you can see just even from this small few items that I've showed you, you will be able to make quite a detailed scene with just these items, so... types of rocks so different type of car there we've got the model car burning um, a container blue whoa no that is huge let's pop that all the way over there you see you get different colors there's a liquid tank there that you can even put in and even a wooden spool so it's absolutely oh military crate looks all right Oh, even a concrete building so there's absolutely loads and loads of stuff in this at the moment so once you do have some sort of scene going on let's just get back here just in case he goes crazy that robot so once you do have some sort of scene set up um, you just press up on the thumb pad and then just run the scene and hopefully oh my god I'm already getting under fire here this is not good all you need to do is go bam into that uh reload slot oh God, let's get him first nice let me tell you about the game so depending on what gun you've got in your hand you can just go straight into these pouches on at the side of you there and you can just pull out whatever ammo whoops Pull out whatever Rambo you want. I've just taken a screenshot as well. Fantastic. No, not engaged anymore, son. Ah, oh, look at that. Let's try <coughs> looking at the guns. Let's take a look at the guns then. So you'll notice a few of them from H3 VR. They're the normal type of skin guns, but there is a few that isn't in here. And I wanted to look straight at the P90 there because that's not in H3 VR. So once the gun's there, all you do is pick it up like that. Once again, go into your pocket and you'll notice that it changes to the ammo that you need for that gun. So you can press left on the thumb pad as well to take that off so you can take it back out. Or 
it just stays locked in like that but if you press it again obviously it just lock it back like that pull back cock it back that's probably gonna explode whoa whoa that was like a chain reaction that wasn't it oh look at that is that the lee enfield I'm not too sure looks like the bullets for it whoa it's loading at the top that's mental is that ready to go yes indeed <gasps> where's the duck he's gone isn't he Oh, found the mother load. Look at that bad boy. <whistles> See what we get for this. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Plum came in. Give it a bit of a shake. You never know. Oh, sounds like something's off. So, to load this, slide it in like that. Hold down on the thumb pad until that goes all the way back. It's uh, obviously some sort of primer charger thingy me booper thing. And then just fire. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Maybe you need a bigger, bigger explosion at the end, but that's still pretty cool to have that uh, in your game already in, a, in an early access game. So really really like that gun and having the ammo like that is just fantastic oh look at that it's in the handle on it that's crazy oh drum mag shotgun yes please yes please I've gone out already. So as I say, as you can see, we've got the, the few handguns in there. We've got some shotguns in there. Um, even submachine guns, P90s, you know, uh, MP5s. Not too sure what that one is. And some rifles there as well. I think the Lee Enfield's in there somewhere. The good old AK. I don't know what that one is. And never see you can get your attachments and the explosive so we've already got a lot of stuff in here a nice little set of guns um and this place um will look fantastic i'm sure eventually once i've had a bit of time to play in it and uh create a scene out of it what i do uh, what i would like though is if you think of anything that you've seen in this scene whether you could put it together you know like you know put a fire barrel on top of a watermelon and shoot it give us some uh, suggestions what you want me to do in this area and we'll see if we can uh, and we'll see if we can fulfill your request so as i say it's just a really small little taster of what's to come with this game um the, the main map edit is what i wanted to show you first but we will show you all the other game modes at another time in a different episode um so thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this one it's nice seeing everything damaged i'm sure that if you set things up in certain places that we're going to get some huge explosions and maybe cars going four five hundred feet up in the air um so really really looking forward to get stuck into this and i'm really really looking forward to other vr people getting stuck into this because seeing other people's map as well will be great fun so sort of breaching and other people's breach room or just seeing what people do within an environment that they can sort of pick what they want you know so so this is bam bullets and more you can get it on steam and um, thank you very much for the developer for offering the key out as well so that we could actually have a little look at the game and give it a go so guys if you did like the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up and i'll see you soon